you're not spending lockdown with Scott because it'll break your relationship. You're scared that people are going to find out about your YouTube, you're pregnant. You're worried your income from YouTube will stop. Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. to my channel as you guys have seen by the title of today's video today i will be answering your guys's assumptions because i did ask you guys to leave some assumptions on the youtube community page and a lot of you guys left some really good assumptions to answer in this video so i will be answering them in today's video before we get into this video please make sure to fo follow my instagram it's alice.holmes i'll put it on the screen somewhere around my little head and also Please like this video and comment and subscribe, it's, it's completely free, so why not do it? Why not subscribe? I want to get to my goal of 4,000 subscribers by the end of April, so please subscribe, it's free. But yeah, without further ado, it's got another video. Let's load the assumptions up. So the first one, which I think is a bit like, right, it is you're not spending lockdown with Scott because it'll break your relationship. No, um, <laughs> that is not the case at all. The reason why we won't be spending lockdown together is purely because we'll be very busy. Um, I obviously have my college work and he obviously has his, like, his cake, a business from home to do. So if I went to his, I think I would be in the way maybe. Um, and also I miss my family a lot as well. So like if I went to his for like a couple of months, like, I've been missing them so much and motivated to do YouTube either, probably. I think because, like, we're only... How many months into the relationship? Six months into the relationship as well. I think it's a bit, like, early days, really, you know? The next assumption is that you're looking to move out this year. So, uh, I'm 19 years old, so, like, I could move out this year... But the thing is, I couldn't afford to put a deposit on a house just yet. Um, I think I'd be scared to move out because of like everything going on still, this whole pandemic and everything. But in a couple of years, I might move out with Scott. But for now, I think it's a little bit early days still. I would be lying if I said that I haven't been looking at houses in my area. But to be honest, I can barely afford to put a deposit down so it will not be happening anytime soon you don't like wearing makeup honestly i love wearing makeup so much um it makes me feel so so confident to wear it but the one thing i hear to want to chill and have a full face of makeup on like i can't like have a lie down as makeup will go like on my pillows or like it takes so much effort to put makeup on but like, half through it all applied, I love wearing it so much. And I probably wear makeup around four times a week, I think. So it's quite a lot, really. But yeah, like, it can make me feel so confident wearing makeup, definitely. You're scared people are going to find out about your YouTube. I'm not scared because I know that a lot of people know about my YouTube channel, but I'm a bit wary to tell some people like in school everyone like found out about it but like i think now i'm not as bothered like if people find out i think because like i do have a stable number of subscribers and i'm not called sprinkle of alice anymore thank god for that because that was a time in my life where it was just so cringy <laughs> but yeah um i'm not scared i'm just more wary of people you're worried your income from youtube will stop first thing i i barely earn anything from youtube only because my cpm is low and my views have been going downhill lately as well um so like my main income is my job where i work in the restaurant area but like her youtube is only a little bit on the side if you know what i mean i would never be worried if YouTube stop paying me because I know that my views and CPM are just gone. It's quite sad, you know, but 
it is what it is. <laughs> you have an obsession with candles. That is very true. Like, every time I go into the shops, like Poundland or B&M or just wherever, you will find me in the candle aisle. I'll, I'll just be like, that smells so good. Honestly, I own so many candles. It's actually unbelievable. Um, so yeah, I do have a, a very big obsession with candles. And my favourite candle is the cherry and vanilla yanka candle at the minute it smells incredible it's so good do you want pets when you move out um i am an animal lover but i don't think i could have pets when i've just moved in um it'd be nice to have a dog but they take a lot of time you need to have like a lot of time for them you know so i don't know but like I used to have a couple of hamsters as a kid and I loved them so much so I might have a hamster if I move out, who knows. You were still working at your other job during lockdown? No, um, it's actually closed at the minute because like, I work in a restaurant. All the restaurants are closed apart from takeaway. I've been furloughed I think so <sighs> happy days <laughs> but um, yeah. So. I do have a lot of free time now. Um, I have my college calls on a Monday to Wednesday and then after that it's my YouTube days so like I don't mind it you know. I really don't. <laughs> You're planning to buy a car. Right so I've actually been talking about this you know. I've been having a look at a few cars online. I do actually have a car at the minute but it isn't actually mine. Um, it's like it's my mum's but she shares it with me because like, like obviously I passed my driving test like a year and a half ago now and she let me use her car for learning to drive in and honestly I'd like it is so good having like her car to learn to drive in at home if you know what I mean. I've been sharing her car with her and it's been great. In a year and a bit my younger sister who will be learning to drive so she will be learning to drive at home in the car which I share at the minute so that means I'll have to buy my own car which I'm kind of excited about because um, it was nice to have my own car that I own that I can drive like all by myself if you know what I mean it'll be mine I'll pay for absolutely everything it'll I'll be skinned probably <laughs> but yeah um, so hopefully in a year's time I will have a car of my own which I am pretty excited about um, but yeah I have to keep on saving those coins and then I'll be able to get a lovely car. You've been spending too much money in lockdown. We're not even a week in yet are we and I've already spent £100 but it's all for Scott's birthday so it isn't for me it's for him. Like I've had to order everything online because all the shops are closed. You would like children in the next three years. Three years I will be 22. Um. I would say in five years at the least. In three years um, I will be hoping a new job by then. Hopefully moving into my own house like apartment with Scott. Um, I think kids in three years is a little bit too soon for me personally. Um, I want to live my life a little bit first for I settle down and have kids because I'm still young and I will be young in three years still and also I know a lot of people, people who are in their early 20s and they haven't got any kids yet so what's the rush? I just want to wait a little bit and I live my life, have a bit of a party and then s settle down. <laughs> You're pregnant. <laughs> I am definitely not pregnant. If I was pregnant I would be absolutely pooing myself because obviously I'm only 19 years old. I do not want to be having a kid at the age of 19 or 20 or 21 or 22. Um, so if I was pregnant then I don't know what I would do. I'd probably cry. I think I would get kicked out on the streets probably. <laughs> so no and also a screaming baby is just like, no thank you, I do not need that right now. <laughs> so no, to answer that, I am not pregnant. <laughs> the final 
assumption is you wish you could see Scott more often. Of course I do. Of course I wish I could spend every day with him. But unfortunately I can't. First thing, he lives like in another area to me. Second thing, it is a national lockdown right now. And third thing, I think I'll probably end up killing him if I spend every day with him at the minute. But no, but yeah, um, on a serious note, like it'd be lovely to see him like almost every day. But I've got a job, I go to college, he's got a job, he does the cakes as well. So like I would have to live a lot closer to him if I wanted to see him like every day. But yeah, but anyway guys, here is the end of the assumptions video. Honestly, enjoyed film this video you know it's like it's been like quite interesting kind of video to film today but anyway i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you have make sure to leave a thumbs up comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel as well because it is free so please make sure to subscribe but yeah i'll see you all in my next video bye for today.